keeping in our framework of how we're throwing the ball, okay, how we're swinging the golf club in relation to throwing a golf, uh, throwing a pitch, our footwork is the most important part of that scenario. If you don't get anything else out of this series, understand this and get this. It will change your golf swing. It'll help your back and save you possibly from injury down the road. Now, as you can see, I'm not an artiste, boy. this guy's got a really large right foot, so we'll shrink him down a little bit. But what we've been told in the golf swing is that we have a weight shift. If I'm hitting the ball to the left here, if we have a weight shift to the back, and then our weight shifts back to the left, okay? So it goes on our back swing, it goes to the right, and on the down swing, it goes to the left. Let's forget that theory, that conception in our head of a weight shift. Um, if you look at all the photos of the better players at impact, their weight is still behind the ball at impact, and that's where we want to be. So this concept of weight shift, let's ditch that for a minute, and let's go with pressure, okay? Now these numbers don't really mean a whole lot, I just want to give you a frame of reference. Let's go with pressure in our feet. Uh, body track has uh, been doing this um, for a little while now. Uh, there's a lot of talk out there. Uh, Golf Science Lab, I believe, is talking about this now. Uh, kinetics, you're, you're hearing the word kinetics. Uh, talked about a lot in the golf swing now, but this is what they're referring to, okay? So, because golf is a rotational movement around our spine, our pressure in our feet moves this way, not this way, okay? So on the back swing, the pressure moves this way rotationally, and on the downswing, it moves rotationally back, okay? It's not a side-to-side -side movement. And to be more specific, if we start off, say, 50-50 with our weight, a little bit more towards our toes and our heels, okay? The pressure moves through these toes and should stop right before we get too far into the right heel. You don't want to get too far into that right heel. If you're feeling pressure in the right heel, now you're pulling yourself off the ball and away from it, okay? So we want pressure on the backswing to stop right about here, middle of your right foot. That's where that pressure should be lined up. Um, you know, maybe you, you feel it more this way, but we want pressure on the ground. That pressure is coming from the ground. You're hearing a lot about ground forces and how you're doing that. Just like I'm a pitcher, when I load into that, I really feel that plate behind me. I'm loading into that plate so that I can launch myself forward. Okay, well, we're all pretty familiar with the push off, okay, in the golf swing. Same thing in a baseball pitch. We push, so the pressure then loads into the front right toe, and then this moment here is the next moment is where most of us go wrong. Most of us, the pressure then goes to our left heel. Okay, this is what we call, you know, pulling away from it, falling off the ball. This is what you hear a lot of, okay? This weight shift, I think, terminology has kind of caused this because we want to move our weight, so our weight, but the club's moving rotationally, so the weight winds up in this back heel. This is not where we want it, especially right before the moment of impact. This is not good, okay? What we're looking for, right before the moment of impact, maybe just after, is for this pressure to move from this, these toes, this right foot into the toes, into the left toes, this area of our foot. This is where we want to feel this pressure right at impact, okay? The only way you feel this pressure is to turn your hips. You, you slide into it, now the pressure moves to the outside of the left foot, okay? This is not what we're looking for. We want the pressure into that left toe so that the club then slings down into the back of the golf ball, okay? Nothing against ladies, but a lot of, and old men, you know, really, their swing is they move it to the right and then they move to the left, and a lot of them finish like this, okay? You will not see a better player finish outside, with his weight outside his left foot, okay? And a lot of it is that talk of a weight shift versus pressure in our feet. If we keep the pressure moving correctly, our weight pretty much stays center. We always, the body always wants to be balanced, so we'll always keep that weight in the center of our feet if we keep the pressure moving the right way, okay? Weight obviously winds up on your left foot once the golf ball is long gone, right? Because our club and our arms and everything is pulling us that way, 
So it has to be out here, and we push so hard, just like a pitcher winds up fully on his left foot at the end. But right before impact, we want that pressure to be coming out of that left toe. Okay, that will sling the golf club into uh, the golf ball. Let me show you what's happening here, why I believe if I can be so arrogant as to comment on Tiger Woods swing, why he's dealt with so many injuries over the years. If this is our left leg, this is our foot, I'm up for an architectural award. Uh, when we, when the, on the downswing, when we put the pressure into the left toe, the weight then comes this way through the front of the kneecap, okay? This is a very strong tendon here. That won't break. That's what the leg is meant to do, okay? If you don't believe me, just feel it. Just, just push back with your left toe or with your left front part of your left foot. You can feel that weight coming up through that left front of the knee and into this thigh muscle, and that's where you get the power. That's where you get that snap. Now, you can look back at Tiger Woods in his amateur days. He would get so much power from snapping that thigh and straight, and more, more importantly, you would snap that hamstring so hard back, and that would create a lot of pressure on the end, back side of that knee, and I believe that's why he's had so many knee surgeries over the years and struggled with his back, because now you're using your lower back to brace you and to take a lot of that torque versus using your knees. Look at Jack Nicklaus, look at uh, Sam Sneed, look at Louis Oosthuizen. Uh, look at Roy McIlroy. Boy, they can swing a long time with those swings, um, you know, without their knees giving out because of their footwork. You look at any of the long drive guys, boy, they are up on their toes. They are pushing up and back with the front part of this foot, okay? Um, extreme, uh, or easy to view, I should say, is Justin Thomas right now. You can really see in his footwork that he's really pushing back with that left toe. Uh, just, just that's how these young kids with no weight. What is Justin Thomas? 145 pounds, and he hits at 380 yards. This is why. This is what allows that to happen. So if you want to just simply add power in your golf swing, work on your footwork here. This is going to make a huge difference once you understand this and can feel this in your body. Now, a great way to feel it is to get on a little bit of a down slope, get the ball below your feet. All right. Like I said, I'm not an artiste, and swing and hit the ball. And don't you don't have to swing hard doing this, okay? Just swing easy and get that feeling of what your feet are doing. Don't get on too steep of a grade either, okay? Just get on a slight little downslope and really feel what your feet are doing. And it's best if you can do it on a uh, like a driveway or something or some kind of hard surface that will just really give you that feedback as to what you're what you're doing in your golf swing. You don't have to hit a ball; you just swing. And feel it. So if you don't take anything else out of all these golf lessons, understand this. Get a feeling for it and it'll change your golf game, I promise you.